Hey guys. Um, hey, I have just a little bit of direct instruction for you this week. Um, if you are a paper person, this will not help you this week. Um, you are not doing anything new. You are doing the chapter review um, and taking the test. So if you're a paper person, you don't have to watch this this week. Um, online people, I'm just going to show you two quick things that you are doing. So if you look, here is our folder. Um, you have three things you're doing this week. You are doing part five of the module. Um, you are going to do a plate boundaries identification assignment, and then you are going to do a post test. Um, when you do the post test, um, I just want to remind you um, that will be going into the gradebook, um, but you can use all of your resources. So anything that you have, you can use. Um, one thing I do want to show you within this week five direct instruction, which is the video you're watching now, I will attach the video here. Um, but I did also upload a PDF of the chapter from the book that may help you while you're taking that test as well. Um, so what I want to show you is um, something new that is in week five or activity five. So remember when you get logged in, um, if activity five is not showing up for you here, you can hit this menu and you can choose your activity from the drop down here on the side. Um, I skipped all the way ahead to page number three to show you what I wanted to show you. Um, once again, just remember that you're reading. It tells you the Red Sea is an inlet of water. It's between Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. So you can see here it labels this is the Red Sea. Um, how did the Red Sea form? What will happen? That's kind of what we're looking at on this page. Um, it does show you another geographic profile. Remember, point one of the line is over here on the left side. Point two is over here on the right side. And you can see as the line goes across Africa into Saudi Arabia, you can see what the land does. So you have some mountains right here on the um, eastern coast of Africa. Dips down into here would be the Red Sea, um, all the way back up into Saudi Arabia over here. So what I do want to show you um, is that it asks you um, to make a claim, support with evidence, and give some reasoning, which is new. Um, so if you look, remember anything that is in this Seismic Explorer window is what is going to show up when you take snapshots down below. Um, remember, there's a key here. If you touch the key, it shows you what colors correspond to what types of boundaries. Um, it shows you what way plates are moving. Um, if you click down here where it says data type, you will be able to add volcanoes. You can add earthquakes. Um, you can... Um, hit start so it shows you where volcanoes are. If you are on a computer, you can draw the cross section. Um, so that's all the information available to you. But if you go down, it says number nine, in 50 million years, how will the Red Sea change? So you have expand, contract, disappear, stay the same. So if I go back up to look here, I have to make my best guess. So I think that since this is a divergent boundary running down the middle, that shows me that this plate is gonna be moving to the left. This plate over here is moving to the right. As these plates split, I think that this gap where the Red Sea is is going to be wider um, and it's going to expand. So that's what I have written here. Number 10 and 11 ask me to support um, the claim that I made with some evidence. So I need to here show some evidence that, that supports my idea of why it's going to move apart from each other. And remember, whatever's in here is what's going to show up on my snapshot. Um, so what I did, I'm just going to show you the two snapshots I took. I'm not going to load them because they take a little while to load. Um, but over here, I took a snapshot just showing it's a divergent boundary down the middle. And here, I took a snapshot showing that there's not very many earthquakes that are happening there. So then if I go down here, um, I have something along the lines, you should probably do a full sentence, <laughs> um, but I just wrote it really quickly. Um, in my first one, my reasoning, um, a divergent boundary shows me that plates are moving apart, which means the sea would get wider. Um, and then in my um, second one, uh, maybe I want to have something about how in this snapshot, I can see that there are not very many earthquakes here compared to other places, like if I look here and here. Um, and that shows me that the plates are moving apart because if plates are moving apart from each other, there's not chance for them to rub up against each other and make earthquakes. Um, so that would be my claim, my evidence, and then my reasoning, okay? Um, the second new thing I want to show you in the module, I'm going to skip ahead to number four. Um, it also asks you about model limitations. Um, so if I scroll down a little bit, this is very similar. One thing I do also want to point out to you guys um, is, if it won't freeze on me, uh, right here, like in question 15, it says, in the past, do you think there was a plate boundary? Um, so a lot of the things you'll see this week will ask you, like, do you think or what do you predict? Um, so it's whatever you think. There's no wrong answers. Um, here, if you look at, um, what page am I on again? <laughs> Four. Um, I just wanted to point out to you when you get down to here, um, to this model, if it decides to load, I'll show you. If not, I can just tell you. 
you don't have to actually draw anything. Right down here, once it loads, I can just hit the play button and it's going to play um, whatever is on here for me. I don't have to create. And it looks like it's not gonna load, but that's okay. Just know you guys don't have to do anything, just hit play. One thing that's new down here, so you're gonna do the same type of thing, it's gonna ask you to make a claim based on what you see in that model once it loads. Um, you're gonna take a snapshot, only one, supporting with some evidence, and then you're gonna explain your evidence to me. But number 19 down here asks you um, for some model limitations. Okay, so it says explain limitations of a tectonic explorer. So I just want to mention, you'll see this a couple times, that just means what about this model isn't the greatest. So like if I look at this model, oh, it loaded here. So if I hit play, um, a limitation might be that this is kind of crappy animation. It's not a real life drawing. That could be a limitation. Um, it could be, a limitation could be that it's only showing me two plates when I know that there are a lot more than two. Um, a limitation could be it's only showing me a short period of time when I know this stuff has happened over long periods of time. So those could all be examples of limitations, okay? Um, and then the only other thing I want to remind you guys of, if we look here in number five, um, so I skipped ahead to page five here. When you get down to this Seismic Explorer, um, if it'll work here, you actually do have to draw something. But it tells you up here, try to form a supercontinent. So as long as you're reading through those directions, it'll tell you um, what you have to do. So and just remember on the bottom, when it loads up here, it tells you what you have to do. So the first thing is you're going to have to draw your continents. Remember, um, it's not going to load here, but this is where I just draw whatever continents that I want. Okay. then when I hit next, it's going to ask me to add forces. Then when I hit next, it's going to allow me to run it. Then once I run it, I can answer my questions down here. Okay, okay, so the other thing I want to show you for just a minute um, is in this plate boundaries identification assignment. If you open that up, um, it walks you through step by step what to do. Um, but I just want to show you the map um, because it's something new that you haven't seen yet. Um, so just follow these step by step instructions. One thing I will just show you if I scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page. Um, here is a good assignment. So here is an example of an assignment that is done very well. If you don't know what you're doing, take a peek at this. Um, but what I just want to show you for a minute is number two here. I'm opening up this linked map. When I open it up, it should look like this. Um, and I just want to point out to you guys for just a minute this key over here or the legend. Um, so if you look, um, it shows you different color um, circles, show you different magnitudes of earthquakes. Um, you actually have arrows here, you guys, that show you the speed and direction the plates are moving. Um, so if you look here, it shows you what direction. The bigger the arrow, the faster they're moving. So you can just take a quick snapshot. You see over here, these are moving pretty quickly compared to like these arrows because they're a lot smaller. Um, you also have some triangles that show you what types of volcanoes things are. Um, and then you also, and my picture is going to be covering it up, but right down here, um, you have different color of lines that correspond to different plate boundaries. So just pay attention to that. So here, red lines are convergent boundaries. So if I look here on the left side of South America, that shows me that's a convergent plate boundary. I can also, if I don't remember what convergent means, I can look at the arrows and I can see that this arrow is pointing to the right, this arrow is pointing to the left. So that's showing me that those two plates are coming together there. Okay, um, so in that assignment, you're going to just find a place in the world, you're going to tell me the plate boundary type, you're going to draw arrows, um, and then you're going to tell me what kinds of things are found there, and what effect this might have on the people who live there. So you guys, if you use your key, a lot of that is already done for you. It has plate boundary type, it has direction of the plates. If I zoom in, I'll be able to see the features that are there, so I can see like, oh, here I see some mountains, here I see some volcanoes, um, here I see a trench. So just use that key over here on the right side to help you do that assignment. Okay, you guys, and as always, if there is anything that I can help with, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Um, do the very best you can on your test this week. You guys have been rocking this online distance stuff for the past few weeks, so show me what you know. All right, good luck, you guys.